was T-Fit. Um, T-Fit is an education process. T-Fit is working out, learning stuff that you never would learn from anybody else. Uh, T-Fit's a way of life. T-Fit's something you wake up and feel like you have to do, feel like you want to do it every day. Something that you can't go on a day without doing. You learn stuff and that's like something it's just, it makes you sleep better at night. You feel better after doing something. I talk to like 10 other people, just being at the gym, seeing other people doing stuff that I know now that's hurting them, it's gonna hurt them in the long run. And I know, I can't save everybody, but when you talk to somebody, hopefully that message spreads to somebody else. <laughs> like we was doing step ups yesterday, and uh, he was stepping on top of the box, bringing his knee out like this, and I was like, First, I was watching him, he, was like, he said he couldn't do it. I was like, let me see one. And he did that, and I was like, that's your problem right there. So he restarted it, and he went straight up, and boom, exploded right up, and he did it perfectly fine after that. And he was like, man, can we stay longer? I feel like I can do these forever. So we stayed, did 100 of those. And uh, then after that, we went to play basketball in the gym. He's just learning stuff and love doing it. And that's, that seems to be the general consensus, right? Yeah. People everywhere are getting excited about knowing what they're doing, why they're doing it. And what for, you know? Yeah, and he had knee problems, and that just doing those, 100 of those, it helped him. Like, he felt it. Two years ago, when I was playing football, he was with, I think, Gabe and Rakeem. And uh, Gabe was talking to me about starting to work out with you. And uh, I had knee problems. And the very first thing we did was step-ups. And uh, during basketball season, I had to wear a knee brace for, like, a first probably three games. But every day. I had a weights class, seventh hour, we did step ups before every game, before practice, before everything, and slowly it went away. And then the year after that, sophomore year, I had lower back problems, and I went to the chiropractor, and they said it was from weak hips, and he, Trevor had already told me that. So we, uh, we started building up hip strength, and now we do deadlifts, stuff like that, and everything's like I don't have any problems with my body anymore. This is stuff that nobody else would know or think about. There's people from all types of, uh, what do they call like gyms? You just call them a gym? Yeah. I don't want to say any names, but there's pla places everywhere. Probably like three different gyms that have, people have contacted my phone, talked to me in person, asked me to come work out with them. But I just know, like I know it's going to be good for me. One word that describes you. Passionate. Met him about two years ago, and I had a. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop talking till they, till they die. <laughs> Did you hear all that on here? What? <laughs> Did you text me that? Trevor Boyd. <laughs>